the most interesting holdings in the DeGrumman collection is the Kate Greenaway papers. We have an unusually large collection of Kate Greenaway's original works. Greenaway was one of the early uh, illustrators. She and Randolph Caldecott were contemporaries and she's one of the ones who really uh, propelled children's literature into the limelight where it became the golden age of children's literature shortly after she and Caldecott began their work. The interesting thing is the wood blocks that we have in this collection. I've pulled out several of the wood blocks for a particular book that we have which is The Marigold Garden. Uh, Caldecott and Greenaway shared an engraver whose name was Edmund Evans, and Evans was the one that actually uh, a la a worked to make children's literature and children's books rather ubiquitous. Uh, he was the one who did this key block, which has the entire illustration that Greenaway created and it's right here on this book, which is from the book Marigold Garden. And you can see that this is just the outline and even the text is placed in this block. He would then follow with the colors. And here's the yellow color used in the sun. And you can see some of these little etchings right here that show the clouds in the picture itself in the book. All of this was done by hand in order to uh, print several, well I think that I read at one point overseas over 100,000 Kate Greenaway books were printed. And that was unheard of at that time. Also, uh, I want to show you the different wood blocks that we have where this was used for uh, the outline of the clouds. You see the blue, clearly this was a blue color, and the tulips. He would mix some of the green and blue and get the colors. They only used primary colors. And here again is another uh, wood block to get the color of the clouds and the girl in the clouds, the two girls in the clouds. Greenaway uh, became very popular and achieved what we would call rock star status. Uh, lots of wallpaper was created, tea sets were created, all kinds of paraphernalia uh, was sold all over Europe, especially England, of course. And one of the things that she was most well known for were her birthday books. This is the first time a birthday book, I think they've become pretty common today, uh, had been created. And it was where a child would actually have a little poem and could put down friends' names and their birth dates and special Piece of it, pieces of information about friends and the dates. The dates are on the left side right here and then of course there's the lining, the lined pages for the uh, birthday book. One thing I'd like to point out is this particular book under the window that was written by Kate Greenaway. Uh, Edmund Evans was interested in this book and presented it to Rutledge Publishers. It was the first book that Greenaway published and it brought her immediate fame and success. Uh, over 800 books were initially published and because of the popularity it ran into over 100,000 books that were published. So she was highly successful and became quite wealthy as a result of her children's publishing. In the United States, however, some piracies and imitations occurred and it became too much for Greenaway. She was uh, a little bit uh, miffed by the competitions put forth and decided to give up children's publishing and turned instead to portraiture. What's interesting about the de Grumman Holdings is the fact that we do possess not only what Greenaway did with children's publishing, we also have the portraitures that are hanging in our gallery 
Now I invite you to come by and explore these on your own.